Birds have got it all. Wings, colourful plumages, backwards facing knees, brilliant. But why is everyone really so jealous of birds? It's because they can actually see the Earth's magnetic field, according to current thinking. To see normally, we humans use a protein called retinal, and retinal comes from vitamin A. So when light enters the eye, and the right colour of light strikes this retinal, a bond in it breaks, rotates, reforms, and as it does so, it triggers an electrical signal that goes to the brain, allowing us to see it. So different colours will split apart different retinals and make them rotate, allowing us to see the colour. So birds have got really similar proteins in their eyes, so how do they do it? Every bond in the universe is made from two electrons, and those two electrons have to be spinning in the opposite direction to coexist. Now, when you break a bond with light, those two electrons go in the opposite direction, one to each side of the break. And when they do that, they can spin in any direction they like. It doesn't matter. Now, recombination is really easy because they just have to wait for a time when they're both spinning in opposite directions and come together. And they're flipping so fast that, you know, this happens all the time. So it happens very quickly. However, if you apply a magnetic field, things get a bit different. So now we still have our pair of electrons, but when we split them apart with light, they're not just randomly mixing up and down anymore, they way prefer to be aligned to that field. Now, they're still mixing, and so they can still recombine, but it just takes that little bit longer. And this is something that birds can feel. And not only that, but they can feel it when it's in the exact direction of north and south. And when it's not in the direction of north and south, they can't detect it as easily. And this means that they can actually see the field with their eyes. So to give you an idea of how incredibly sensitive this is, here is my bath magnet. This is a hundred times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field right here, and they can still see it. So birds don't know what north and south is, and yet it doesn't matter. They can still tell the difference between getting warmer and getting colder, depending on the way that they fly. So there was a chicken in here recently, so there's probably... Here we go. Um, so if we take this native bath egg, then if this were the Earth, then the Earth's magnetic field would come out of the bottom, around the edge, and then into the top. And so if you look carefully, you'll see that at the bottom of the Earth, and at the top of the Earth, the Earth's magnetic field lines are going directly into the surface. Whereas around here, at the equator, they're going sideways, they're going flat, same direction as the surface. Which means that depending on where you are, how far north or how far south, the Earth's magnetic field is tilted differently. So right here, mm, I reckon that way's north. And so the Earth's at about, the field is about 60 degrees downwards. The Earth's magnetic field is going down like this, which means that a bird, if they look down that way, will see the Earth's magnetic field downwards and the Earth's magnetic field upwards. And they know that if they fly up, things are going to get warmer. And if they fly, if they fly down, things are going to get colder. And that's all that they need to know. Earth's magnetic field flips every 200,000 years. And the last time it flipped was about 200,000 years ago. So we're expecting another one pretty soon. In fact, Earth's magnetic field has been gradually reducing in strength since records began. In Roman times, it was about double the strength that it is now. And so a lot of people are worried about what's gonna to happen to migrating birds, but they're probably gonna be fine because once the flip is finished, if it's quick enough, they're just gonna fly uphill to warmth, downhill to cool, like they used to. It's us that might have something to worry about. Thanks for watching. Deliciously subscribe for more.